the Tampa Bay Buccaneers absolutely love to blitz. And I think that's going to lead to big play after big play after big play in Super Bowl 55 with Patrick Mahomes absolutely bombing the ball to his pass catchers. My bold prediction for the Chiefs is Mahomes has five passes of 40 yards or more. Look, he's had ridiculous rapport with all of his receivers ever since he came into the league and started in place of Alex Smith. I think this postseason has been no exception. He's going to light up that Tampa defense. The way that Tampa blitzes, and they blitz fifth most at almost 40% during the regular season, it's going to open up that secondary to big plays. And Mahomes is such a quick thinker. He can throw off platform. He can throw with a guy hanging off of his waist like a freaking cape. Mahomes is basically Superman, and blitzes are not really going to work on him. So I think big plays are coming in Super Bowl 55. The Chiefs offense will be as explosive, maybe more explosive than ever in the big game. Tom Brady is the guy you do not want to bet against in the Super Bowls. He's got that six and three record. He's the most winning Super Bowl quarterback in history, and he is making his 10th appearance against the Kansas City Chiefs in Super Bowl 55. We know the history, right? He overcame the 28-3 deficit in Super Bowl 51 against the Falcons. He's taken multiple two and two starts and converted them into Super Bowls. Back in 2001, he even started 0-2 with the Patriots only to make the Super Bowl and beat the Rams. For Super Bowl 55, Brady finds himself an underdog. The Chiefs are favored pretty heavily. My bold prediction isn't just that Brady is going to lose because again, that's not that bold, but I think he's going to be the biggest problem or the most obvious shortcoming for the Buccaneers. But this is gonna come down to quarterbacks. Patrick Mahomes is absolutely the most talented quarterback in the NFL. And so he's going to run up the score, especially I think with the Buccaneers blitzing often and early. Mahomes generates big plays, and on the flip side, Brady's going to have to match. And as we saw in the NFC title game, Brady, when he's forced to make those plays, when he's forced to push the ball downfield, you can see brilliant moments. The first half, obviously, we saw an explosion of offensive production against the Packers. But then there are the tough moments. Three consecutive drives with interceptions for Brady in that second half. I think we could see similar spots of weakness, and so Brady struggles in the Buccaneers' loss to the Chiefs. Yeah.